So now, ladies and gentlemen, our next contest once again scheduled for five three minute rounds, and this time matched at 73 kilograms. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, fighting out of the fourth dimension fight team, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring Amari Deirdre. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Amari Dietrich! And facing Amari this evening, his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of the Yokau Training Center at the world famous Bad Company Gym in Leeds, England. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Joe Craven! So crowd favourite then, isn't he? Oh, Joe Craven, he's made a bit of a name for himself recently with the very famous Bad Comedy Gym, but listen, Ameri Dietrich the fourth dimension from the fourth dimension sounds a bit weird that it's it been got real power let's see once again ladies and gentlemen in the red corner joe So we'll see then. Um, I've seen him somewhere before and I can't remember where. Oh yeah, <laughs> someone's gesturing to me. I have seen him before. Memory man, oh Vince does. So we'll see then, Craven from the Bad Company Gym and Am Amari from the Fourth Dimension Gym. Cornered as ever by Mr. Richard Smith, Andy Halson. Jordan Watson and Liam Harrison, and he's fetching top. Should look better on me, though. Okay. Our referee is the superb Jesse Saunders, and we are set to go here. Round one. Round one. Five threes, full rules Muay Thai. I really, really enjoy watching Craven fight. Yeah, he's a good fighter, isn't he? Very good. It's Amari that hasn't come to lose, Gav. No, he's in great shape. He looks very strong. Nice scoring knees from... Craven looks strong, look for the elbow there, see as he pulled out. Yeah. yeah. Amari looks very strong. Very strong. Yeah. Already got me drawn in this fight, Gavin. Um, these two, good double kick from Craven. We've just got to watch a little bit. I've noticed then as, as he's throwing his shots, he's overreaching a little bit and his, his yeah. chin is going up in the air. does a little bit. A bit. I thought that bit. earlier, yeah. yeah. 
And Amari looks ready to punch yeah. as well, so. Kick for kick, punch for punch, really. Swapping knees just above our commentary box. What do we call it commentary box? A table. <laughs> commentary table. Platform. Yeah. Good body shot, he's good at that, he hurt him then. He's got a good right hand to the body, Craven. He uses it well. Very well balanced fire, he can do a lot of things well. Yeah. Locked on the waist, really strong, showing strength. Craven. Craven's fighting a good fighter, he's using, yeah. using technique well. Because Amari looks like he's just loaded up, ready to just throw a bomb. Yeah, maybe he's shaving himself, Gavin, for later on, we'll see. Possibly. Good fight, this. A fast start. Yeah, indeed. Here's some of the action, just strong start when the quick start. You can hear Richard Smith in the corner saying to Joe Craven, don't relax too much. You know, that's the problem with some fighters. They do relax to two, and that's when they take early damage. They get caught early, they get hurt early. You can't do that. Yeah, and all, he's not letting him do that. It's all very well starting, starting slow, but you've still got to start sharp. You can't give anything away, you know. Craven's done well there. He, he's, he, he's, he's picked him apart a little bit this round. But Amari's very, very calm. You see him there in the corner. Very calm indeed. Yeah. There's a bit more to come from him just yet. You know, and you, you know, they've got a good, such a high reputation, the Bad Company Gym as well. But you know, other gyms and they go against them, they may feel a little bit intimidated or a little bit up against it. But you know what? You know, this gym's coming through now that's just really showing their, their worth, their metal. And their, uh, their well, willingness well, that, that to go when they have to go to. That can work both ways as well because, I mean, you know, Joe Craven's seen before him uh, a lot of guys come from his gym and do really, really well. So the pressure's on him to yep. emulate them as well. So. Round two. Round two then. The muscular Amari and Craven. Joe Craven. He's improved a hell of a lot, Craven, hasn't he? Yeah, he's Massively. Good. Yeah. But Amari looks ominously for coming forward. I like the way that as soon as Amari switched then Craven just threw two shots straight down the middle. Yeah. Doesn't want to switch off with him, though. That was nice from Amari. It was a good left knee. Craven has nearly had any success here, but you can still see there's something in this fight for Amari. Craven's really got to concentrate in front of this guy. Yeah. Ooh, that was 
heavy. Amar is rock hard. He's starting to show it now, though, Gavin, isn't he? Yeah, he's starting Redding to, around he's the starting body. To breathe a little bit more heavily yeah. as well. A little bit calmness has gone a little bit from his face. Still dangerous, though, you can yeah. see. Well, he needs to counter now, doesn't he? He's walking and getting kicked. He's not out. He needs to counter. It's just a little bit too quick, isn't he, Craven? Yeah, I think as well, you know, Amari's walking forward. And it's all very well walking forward and taking these shots, but you've got to fire back. You have got to fire back because yeah. people like Joe Craven aren't going to get tired of hitting you. They're no, not they're going not. to get tired of well, hitting you. They enjoy you. it, don't they, for yeah, a living? Yeah, they're just going to hit you more. They're fit enough to do this for five rounds. They are. Let's like see now Brown versus Joe Craven, would you? Yeah, that'd be an interesting that'd be a good fight. fight. Yeah, that'd be a good fight. Yeah. That'd be a good fight. I'd enjoy that. Amari just stalking ever so forward. He needs, needs to commit with something, Gav. Yeah, he's not doing much at all, really. He's, he's showing us how tough he is at the moment, but he's not really giving Craven anything to think about. He's not giving Redding in on the arms of Amari. He goes back to his corner looking a little bit ejected, Gav. Dejected. Yeah. It is tough guy. So we'll see here some of the action then. It's been kind of the doc, what the doctor ordered, really. Bread and butter techniques both being thrown. Muay Thai with has big scores going round the back of Amari. Just scoring. Just that little bit quicker, isn't he? Craven. Yeah, it's just a little bit of tenseness, tenseness in Amari. It's not, 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 it's not there in Craven. That tenseness isn't, isn't there. And he just throws, and, and he's got good imagination as well. He put his hands and his, and his legs together very well. So there you go. Yoko moving through, showing how it's done here. The man in the corner is Jordan Watson with Craven and Liam Harrison's there and then none of them are on the show tonight, which is a shame, but listen, now no, I'm not being funny, Gav. They might be able to do it without them. Well, they certainly can't do it without <laughs> me. <laughs> I flew in from Abu Dhabi doing another show last night. Portal 10 seconds. My private jet. It's paid for me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, I'm here. <laughs> Nevertheless, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to bore you with it. But I will, because I'm boring anyway. We're going to round number... Round three. Three. Let's see. Mari needs to start now quicker. Yeah, there seems a bit more purpose in him now. He's got a natural southpaw on Mari. And he's switched southpaw because when he wants to throw anything back, he throws his right leg. See? Yeah. Again, though, he's, got, he's, he's, he's marching forward a bit more intent now, but he's, he is just following, he is just following, he's no cut off. He's not, he's not using off. his left leg to no. kick with it, you know? If he's going to stand southpaw, you, you would think that he's going to use the left kick, wouldn't you? Big shot, staying busy, Craven, on the outside. Yeah, 
there, nice. nice double kick, lovely. Doubling up the kick. Um, Amari needs to go for bro kick, Gavin. He's getting handily outscored here. Yeah, he needs to throw some big shots. Yeah, he does. To get right into him. I don't think he's got an answer for, for no, Craven's speed. Uh, he, he, he's just out, he's just out foxing him all the time. So nonchalant about everything, isn't he, uh, Amari? You know? Yeah, he doesn't look worried. No. Uh, same thing he's been hurt, but it's just it's accumulation of a good shot. I like the way Craven's right. As soon as he's thrown some it, he's just moving a little bit, little bit to his left or a little bit to his right. He's moving straight after the shot. This is a, this is a great performance by Craven, you know? Fantastic. Really is a good performance. Showing maturity as well, which he didn't, you know, obviously didn't like that because of the tender years that he is. But he's showing matur maturity in his performance as well. He's not going crazy, he's not, no, not trying to, you know, go for a knockout, you know, and take risks. He's fighting smart. Amari needs to go for broke though. There you go with the left kick. That's success with it. I should show that, throw that more. It's better. Hey, you start to throw it now. So some of the action from round number three. It's been frenetic really, and just the, the, the accumulative skills. That was a nice double kick there from Craven. But he's, uh, Amari, he's teeped off, you know, but it's not enough, Gavin. Tough's not enough. No, I mean, you've got to look at all the guys here tonight. They're all tough, you know. So, you just join us here on Yoko 29. We have an absolute scorch, a sellout crowd, and it's roasting in here. It really is hot. The action is fast and furious, and we have a very interesting fight indeed. And coming up later on, we have something very, very special. A fight between two ladies, Dakota DeChiba, last time out on Yoko, losing to Amy Pierney. But she's got herself back together. Oh, that was a fantastic fight, and she's fighting Hannah Brady from Kiat Von Deep. That'll be a good fight. That's a late A class fight. We have Mike Eslick versus Luke Hill from the Lumpini Crawley Gym. And Jonathan Haggerty challenges for the number one spot against Keith McLaughlin, the old warhorse himself. So we'll see that's to come up. We're going into round number four then of a very, very interesting Arnold contest. Rockard Amari Dietrich. The Joker Second. is running away with this on points, Gavin. Yeah, he's looking very good. Very good performance so very far. Cool. Yeah. He's sound. Amari started the last couple of rounds quite fast and, and then he's gone back into his shell a little bit. As we see now, this round he stays out of his shell because he started quite positive this time. Good body shot, Good that was. Shot. That hurt him, that did. That hurt him. Yeah. Nice to go to the head here. Hurting him now, Gavin. I told you had a good right punch to the body, didn't I? He did, very, very good. See his That's corner. good. Very animated. Tap the gloves and go with the left hook now to the body, if you can. Taking the wind out of the sails of Amari. Putting that body down there. 
He'll get a count here. He's not careful. Ooh, your body shot elbow here. Very nice. First time you see on my really hurt, and I was well and quick, yeah. but I off the hook either. He's tough on Mari, though. Tough kid. Animated corner here. But inside the last minute now, Craven's really going for this now. What's the stoppage? Good shot, right, right hand. Tries the right knee. Left kick, right elbow, body shot. It's not coming bad anything. Jesse's having a look at this, goes to another count. Could stop him here, 30 seconds to go. Just missed with that elbow. Good shot. Should go in now. Amari's tough though, give him credit. So what you need, herb heavy body kick. One more count, Jesse will stop this. Did well to get out of that round, fair play. Showing so much strength and maturity, Craven. Amari goes back to his corner. Showing visible signs there, wasn't he, Gavin? Especially wincing with the body shots, just trying to keep himself uh, composed, but the power of yeah. Raven was just a little bit too much. He really, really uh, commended me. He really tried to poker face that, but he unraveled quite quickly there. When you get them. Very, very difficult to recover from and, and, and Craven spent a little bit of blood in the water there and did not let him off the hook at all, it was just relentless. So there you go then, I tell you what, we've had a right stormer of a fight tonight. Craven, right uppercut, left up to the body. Just didn't get the elbows lifted, did he, to throw that left up round the side? No, defensively, Amari was good there, to be honest yeah. with you, because it was a few, a few moments there where he could have been stopped. Nice body shot, elbow from Craven, mixing it up well, causing a lot of damage. He's going to do well to get out of this round. I just need to take risk, really, Craven, you know, in this round, Gavin. Oh, I think, yeah, the well, youngsters, aren't they? They smell yeah, blood and off they go, they, you know? I, you know, all fighters love us. They, they, they want a stoppage, but, you know, uh, these types of the, 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 the experience building fights as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please get behind both fighters as they come out for the fifth and final round. Second set. Rupa. Round five then, nice body kick starts proceedings. Amari's come forward all night though. He's having a go now, Good isn't shots. he? He's having a go, Amari, you've got to give him credit, you know. Yeah, he's not, he's definitely not done yet, he's still got. Still got something in the tank there, he's still very strong physically. Yeah. Craven's doing the right thing now. Do you know what, Gavin? They know so much, don't they, how to deal with people? And, you know, 
You know, they, you know, they kick the leg, they move, they don't yeah. have one, they're not one dimensional anymore, are they, these kids? No, I mean, sometimes in the past you'd see some fighters with a bit less experience yeah. get into a firefight there yeah. with, with Amari, and that'd be a mistake, but, you know, Kramer's not going to draw into it. Yeah, a rep repertoire of Muay Thai technique coming in from both fighters. We've got to give credit, though, to Amari, who's shown extreme heart. That was a good shot, he's caught him. He's going for it now, Amari! He's got a he's show. He stiffened him up a little bit there. Craven. Metal in every way, shape or form, Craven. He's hurt. It's a little bit dazed there, Gavin. Yeah, and there's a little bit of a way to go in this round as well. I don't think Amari's onto it. It's going to be nice. sore tomorrow, Amari. He took so many heavy kicks of Craven. Craven's, uh, Craven's still, still stunned by those shots. I want to see Craven versus Niall Brown. Yeah, That's what fight. I want to see. It's 72 and a half. That'll be a right ding dong. I'd love that. Well, he's got a minute to get through this just now. Good shots again. Yeah, swinging over the top. He's done so much work in this Craven. Amari is so tough, isn't he? Gives everyone Very nightmares, well, whoever he fights this kid. Really can't stand there, he can't stand there. He's got to move, he's got to keep moving. It's not over till the bell rings. This a is what we shot. want, this is how Muay Thai should be. You know? Right to the end and right to the last 15 seconds. Showing of heart of Amari's been incredible. Skills of Joe Craven has won this fight, but what a heart this boy has. Gotta give him credit. Ding, 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 there goes the bell. Superb fight. And I tell you what, Joe will be glad to hear that. That guy is very, very tough. Incredible performance there. Clearly outscored by Joe Craven. But a very, very good performance, a showing of heart, which you know what? You can't buy. You can't teach heart in a gym, and Amari's got that. With a bit more technique, a bit more experience, could be a force to be reckoned with, Gavin. Here's some of the yeah, action. He should have turned it on earlier, shouldn't he? Definitely, definitely. He, he had that in his locker from, 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 from when the fight started. And it might have been, been a different outcome, but, you know, it's a real, real experience building fight this for Craven. You know, because he was in trouble yeah, last good. round. There we go. All right, mate. Yeah, good. So here's some of the action. Good, mate. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, actually our first fight to go the distance. So please, a massive round of applause for both fighters. A scintillating action, but and a great performance, and he really tried in the end, but Amari was just outscored. A little bit outclassed, but five, good fight this, Gav. Brilliant fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Having a bad one, haven't we? Yeah, had a bad one. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favour of your winner in the red card of yeah. Joe Great performance Craven. by Craven. And your appreciation, please, for Amari. But Amari Hedrick. was teaked off. I want to see Craven now, Brown. That'll be a scorcher. Yeah. Get it on!